All right, there's not a ton of light, but this is my D&D &D go bag. So it's a cigar ball. Got the sup death dice bag. I'm just gonna show off that shit. Look at how tight that is. And the M81 is actually a thicker material, which is tight. Has that, so it sits nice. And then I have the proper Blackwing pencil, specifically the 602 with the tip saber on it. Nice thing about these pencils is you can switch out the erasers when they go bad, because they take forever to go bad. Blackwing 602, staple. Notebook, leather bound, a must for D&D so you can take notes in this little fucker. So let me see if I can do this all in one go. So, this is a mini dice tower. See if I can do one hand. Well, first things first, check this shit out. So these are all my lab dice. This is all Chessex lab dice. So I have like the turquoise on orange, the orange on turquoise, solids. got these bad boys. This is like the copper and blue or whatever. I think these might glow. I really like the opaque colors. So I got these bad boys. Lots of lab dice. Plenty to go around. So, the little mini dice tower. So you pop this thing in here and when you need to make a roll, Oh, that failed. It's because it's on an incline. Anyway, yeah, watch. What did I get? Looks like a seven. Seven. So yeah, that's the D&D &D Go bag. And it's good to have a lot of different kind of dice. Because like sometimes you'll have a requirement to roll like... 5d6s or whatever and you just grab 5d6s from your collection so that's why i have so many i don't just have them to collect them i actually use them and the good thing about lab dice is they come with like the spares they have a bunch of spares especially the newer ones like these so you have just standard dice in there too that's the lap dice collection. The whole gamut. Look at that shit, bro. M81. You want to see a good cut of M81? Look at that. Blackwing is a must have for anybody playing D&D. Endorsed by Spare the Dying. 